It is time once again for another latchkey food review. And today, we're going to take a revisit to the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizzas that they sell at Walmart. Last time I got the macaroni and cheese attack or whatever it was called. It was like a macaroni and cheese made onto a pizza. Didn't like it too much. Uh, it was not my favorite. So today, I figured I would change things up with their brand and try something I know that I would like for sure. So I got this here sausage and pepperoni. I think I will like this one. And this is the one that we will be reviewing today. Coming up. All right, so my first impression of it is I'm not that impressed. It is very heavy on the pepperoni. Very light on the sausage. And, uh, yeah, not much sausage to look at there, folks. That is a little disappointing. But we're going to cook her, see how she tastes. Get back with you when it's done. All right, folks, moment of truth time. Okay, so. I'd say that's just about done if you ask me. Like I said, got a lot of so, uh, pepperoni, but very limited pieces of sausage on here, which is unusual for this style of pizza. Usually, I would think of it being the other way around. But I'm going to cut it up, take it over to the dinner table, and uh, give it a good old review in uh, just a few. Stay tuned for that. Right, folks, so I got me a couple of slices here. And as you can see, very skimpy on the sausage. Very skimpy indeed. It's a uh, kind of a bland tasting crust. It's not too off-putting. But for the extra money you're paying for this, I think you deserve a little more sausage, a little more flavor in the crust. I mean, so far it's just kind of okay pizza. There's a brand that's cheaper and it's called Tom's. And even Tom's blows this away. Yep, Tom's Rim Pizza even blows this away. They should come at a lot lower cost. The quality is just not there. You would think if they was going to attach the uh, Ninja Turtles to pizza, they would do a better job at making a good pizza. I just ain't tasting a lot of flavor in that sauce. I mean, I can taste the cheese. I can tell it's there. I mean, but 
it is just like barely brushed onto the bread if you can see that the sauce is just barely there like they were scared to put it on there It's not terrible. It's not unedible. It is at least better than the macaroni and cheese was by the Ninja Turtle Pizza Company, whoever they may be. I mean, even the pepperoni. I'm. If it wasn't for the pepperoni, I wouldn't be getting any flavor at all. Look at that. Real skimpy on that sauce now. Come on. Real skimpy on the sauce. It's so but it's so barely there I couldn't tell if it was good or not. I mean, this was uh, pretty much their last chance with me. <laughs> if this one's not good, if I can't make this one good, because I love pepperoni and sausage pizza. If, if this one is not worth it, then there's no need in trying any of the rest <laughs> that this brand has to offer. I'm gonna reflect on it a minute and then we'll uh, put it to some afterthoughts coming right up. Alright, folks, so my final afterthoughts on the Ninja Turtle pepperoni and sausage pizza. I wanted to give it a two thumbs up, but I can't. I'm gonna have to give that one a two thumbs down. I can't recommend it because it's at a higher cost than a lot of the other frozen pizzas. And it doesn't have the quality of uh, some of your uh, cheaper frozen pizzas that are out there like Red Baron and like the Tom's brand that are out there. Uh, you can definitely get a better frozen pizza experience from those brands. Uh, so uh, that one at a higher cost is going to be two thumbs down uh, for sure. Uh, I can't recommend it uh, and I really hate that because I try to look for the good and everything but I just can't seem to find it in <laughs> the Ninja Turtle pizzas that Walmart sells now uh, the uh, Stranger Things you know I had a better experience with them it was a pretty good frozen pizza you know at a higher cost and that kind of warranted you know the two thumbs up from that pizza and I really really had high hopes for the Ninja Turtle uh, pizzas you know cause uh, Ninja Turtles first came onto the scene back in the 80's and uh, they were a part of everybody's uh, childhood growing up back then and uh, still are well known to this day but I can't uh, give them two thumbs up alright folks that is all I have for this review so until the next time, you folks have a good one.